All right, with this video, we're gonna explain how a bond works. The basic principle behind a bond is it's a security for the court that the defendant's actually gonna, gonna show up and face the charges. So in, in theory, if there's no bond, then you, know, you could just take off, run, run away to Texas, Mexico, whatever. And so the bond is a way of you putting down money and, and the bondsman being security for you to make sure that you're there. Now, in actual practice, uh, courts have used it to be a, a punitive measure and it can get a little out of hand. But we're gonna go through the mechanics of it. And so first things first, only a, a bail bond company can actually post a bond for you. So it's not something that the lawyer can do. It's not something that you can do on your own. You're gonna to have to go through a bondsman. And so there's two different versions of a bond. One's called a cash bond, and one's called a paper bond. So with a cash bond, you have to put up the actual cash amount. So if the judge says it's a thousand dollar cash bond, then you have to put up a thousand dollars. Now those those are pretty rare, um, or unless there's some history with the uh, defendant not appearing or or that sort of thing. They don't usually do cash bonds. So what they usually do is what's called a paper bond. And with a paper bond, you're going to have to actually put up. 10% of the amount plus $80 to the bondsman's fee. So a fairly common one is about a $30,000 paper bond. So with that, you or a loved one's gonna have to put up $3,000 plus 80, so 3,080. And then the bondsman will guarantee the balance of it if you don't appear. And then that's what will get you or your loved one out of jail. Now. When this happens, you have to stay in contact with the bondsman and they're going to want you to check in, you know, with whatever their procedure is, whether it's every week, every other day, whatever. But you need to make sure that you keep them happy and do everything that they need to stay on the bond. Because if you fail to comply with it, fail to make your payments, that sort of thing, the bond can always be recalled. Then you're going to go back to jail waiting on the, uh, the trial and you don't want that. Now we have good relationships with good bond companies around here. Um, they're all going to charge the, the same fee for the most part and it's pretty much the same service for the most part and then most of them are available 24 hours. So it's not like you're going to get a better deal with one bondsman or another but the main part is having somebody that the bondsman is comfortable with signing on the bond with you so you're not just going to be able to get like your boyfriend or girlfriend that doesn't have a job or that sort of thing they're going to want somebody that has some reputable credit a reputable job so a lot of times it's going to have to be a family member like like mom or like dad uh, but as long as you stay in touch with them and you're going to court then they're not going to come back and collect on the rest of that bond but if you skip town, then that's like what you've seen on Dog the Bounty Hunter. They'll, they'll come out and run you down and, and chase you down, that sort of thing. But they're, uh, they're going to be the ones that are going to keep you out, keep you free while the case is pending. And that's how the bond works. 